I make my films purely for the audience. I mean, I'm Sajid Khan. Who will interfere with me? <laughs> I don't make films to prove a point or to win awards or to get five star reviews. Shahrukh had told me that you're going to make a big mistake. Actors are exactly like children. I love actors. <laughs> positive feedback and uh, but quite honestly i don't uh, i don't follow feedback i, I don't uh, listen to good things or bad things because i know at the end of the day uh, what i have made and i know the only and the ultimate feedback is when the film releases and it's from the audience <laughs> I make my films purely for the audience. Everything attached to the film, including its music, is purely for the audience. I don't make films to prove a point or to win awards or to get five star reviews. I make it so that you can go with your family and have a good time and come out with a big smile. And that, for me, is the best feedback. Sajid Nadiadwala, who's my producer, my best friend, like absolutely my elder brother. After Houseful, we were discussing what to do next and uh, he came up with an idea. The story is his, the screenplay is mine, but the story is his. And I love the story and I said, this is superb, let's, let's do this. And he said, we should call it Houseful 2. And I said, yeah, and it's not connected in any way to Houseful 1 in terms of storyline. It's a completely new uh, story with new characters, new locations. We both were discussing and we should make it even bigger because I said the, the, the story has so many characters that it's like 12 principal characters, so we should call it the Dirty Dozen. And we never looked back and we were hoping, fingers crossed then, when we started the film that somewhere it becomes like a brand franchisee for Akshay Kumar, Sajid Nadiadwala, Sajid Khan, Ritesh Deshmukh. This is the team where we'll, you, you will associate with uh, the Houseful series, you know. So uh, that's where the idea came from. This film, I wasn't having such a good time while making it because there was no time to have a good time. There are so many actors in the film and all very, very busy actors and big actors. So I was only walking on the footsteps of Mr. Manmohan Desai and Mr. Rajkumar Kohli as to how these guys used to in the 70s make such big films with such big egoistic actors then uh, and, and complete it and release it for the audience and never stray away from their storyline, you know, just to please a particular actor or a particular star. And that is the road that I walked on. Five years since Hey Baby released and since then I've made three films, which speaks about the way I work. Uh, I take about a year, year and a half to make a film. And its eventual release is what I look forward to. I've been very fortunate that both my films have worked at the box office. So every time I visited the theatres, it was always full. And I'm hoping to do the same with Houseful too. But going into that theatre when the film releases for the first one, two weeks, I go to every possible theatre, try to stand at the last row and seeing an entire theatre with my film playing and the audience enjoying it. That is my high. That is my five-star review. That is my best picture award and that is my best director award. Today, uh, gone are those days of the 70s and 80s where actors used to have egos or come three hours late or four hours late. Today, actors are very professional. Also, what happens uh, when you have Akshay Kumar spearheading your cast, things become a little easier for the simple reason that he is a very punctual person, you know. And it's a big myth that Akshay Kumar interferes. I've done three films with him and I'm Sajid Khan. Who will interfere with me? <laughs> you know, uh, Akshay doesn't interfere. He hears the script, he hears the one line, he hears and then he adds on or he detracts but only as an actor. And I think that is so important for every actor to do. Uh, I'm not uh, a taskmaster when it comes to making the actor do exactly what I... When you, when you work with an actor, you have to give an actor uh, a certain leeway to take their suggestions also because it's their interpretation of a character. You have to make sure that an actor is comfortable. See, actors are exactly like children. No matter how old they are, no matter how young they are, they're like children. You have to handle them with care, you have to handle them with love. and. Uh, 
I love actors. Shahrukh had told me that you're going to make a big mistake. He said, never make any film, not leave alone your first film with an animal or, or a baby. He says, never do that, never do that. And I understood what he said when I actually started shooting. Hey baby, I thought the first 15, 20 days without the baby, we were just shooting the songs and certain comedy scenes and a couple of emotional scenes with the guys and all. I said, that's cakewalk, yeah, this is easy, filmmaking is easy. When it came to working with the baby, it was uh, nightmarish because uh, she was being a baby and that's what babies do. They cry, they sleep and she was teething when I started shooting with her. She was about 9 months. The doctor informed me that between 9 to 12 months, babies start teething. And uh, I used to pray every day and you know, couldn't blame anybody because that's the subject uh, nature which I chose.